Welcome everybody to Funeral Nation episode 96, almost to 100. Jeff, we've got some, we're, this is going to be a very quick episode, so watch it all the way through because there's a big announcement at the end and a big announcement at the beginning and big stuff in the middle, so you got to go through. What, what are we going to do today on this different episode well, we want to quickly uh, cover a little bit of news about what's been going on, uh, but we also want to uh, announce there's a really big change maker segment coming next week, and we want to pretty much profile who's going to be on. Don't want you to miss it. And then we're going to do something that we need participation from the Funeral Nation in. So uh, let's start off. We're always blessed. Uh, CNJ Financial, Jamie, our team, they're the engine, but they're the effing engine, right? Should we call them the effing engine? They're, they're the fuel that ma- I think we're the engine. They're the fuel that makes it go. Okay, so so they're the they're, they're the effing gas. All right, that's good with Jamie because I've I've been out anyway. Any so let's run that uh, information about Jamie and C and J. What payment method do you prefer? Families use for your goods and services. Most funeral homes and cemeteries prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is the preferred method of payment. However, families who use life insurance are able to purchase the funeral service of their choice and spend 31% more on your goods and services. By encouraging more families to pay with insurance, you can create a better experience for the family and become more profitable without increasing your call volume. The reason most firms prefer cash check or credit card over life insurance is that insurance companies are a hassle to deal with and payment can often take weeks or months to receive. With C&J Financial, you can receive funding within 24 hours of verification of benefit, thereby eliminating the hassle, headache, and cash flow delay in processing insurance death claims. Let us show you why hundreds of funeral homes all across America choose C&J for their assignment funding needs, and why many associations, accounting firms, and industry leaders recommend C&J to their clients and members. All right, so Ryan, you know, there's not a ton of news going on this week. I did see um, that that's out there that the Gaffney Group has made yeah. some acquisitions up uh, in the Great Northwest over there, and uh, it's it's really interesting. Something too that affects one of our sponsors, uh, Mister Mister Sirius Chan, is giving away caskets, and it looks like Bill White from down in uh, North Carolina won a October uh, such cask casket giveaway yeah. kind of a big deal faux I mean, free faux free faux, faux free. free that's one of the other f words that we're allowed to use here right so uh let's go ahead and make sure and uh let's share what uh sitch is doing with their promotion but i want to yeah. talk about them a little bit more here in just a moment funeral nation is sponsored by sitch casket sitch has changed everything for funeral homes facing declining profits from cremation with casket quality equal to the top domestic brands, but half the cost or better. Enter now to win a free Sitch casket at sitchcasket.com. Sitch, only your accountant can tell the difference. Cool. All right, so Ryan, next week we got a big deal with change makers, and, and we're actually taking time out rather than doing our regular show because this is such a big deal. You want to tell everybody what's going on? Yeah, so next week we are going to be interviewing Will Bischoff and Justin Baxley from Homesteaders. And change makers because th- I mean, this is a, a dynamic shift in the profession um, and just the direction homesteaders going and, and Justin leaving foundation partners and, and coming into a developing markets role with, with homesteaders uh, life company. So exciting to see the direction that they're headed, but also, you know, where, where do they see the funeral profession going in the next five to 10 years? And um, you know, the, it, the, the, the industry and the profession itself is vastly different than it was five years ago or even 10 years ago. And typically, and it's such a slow moving industry, the change is happening at a snail's pace. But for some of us who are coming into the profession that have been outside of it, um, you know, or, or those that have been inside the profession, Outside, it looks snail's pace, but inside, it's been very rapid over the last five to 10 years. So uh, just big stuff. Yeah, it was interesting because we, again, talked about this last uh, Boston and FDA. It was it was technology, and we're starting to see technology. We're starting to see serious changes. I uh, had the opportunity to speak at a uh, master class for Aurora this week down in Alabama. 
And this is the best time to be in the funeral business. It yeah. really is. We have an incredible f- future or it's the worst time, depending on how you want to run your business. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, speaking about running our business, we're really tuned in and we want to listen to what you have to say out there in the F and nation. So Ryan and I uh, on Facebook and also through some other methodology, we're going to send out a survey. Okay. And uh, this actually came from our friends, um, uh, Rolf and Dan over at uh, LA Ads, who works with Sitch. We're all one big happy family. We want to send out a survey for you to tell us what we can do for you with Funeral Nation for 2018. All right. We have the platform, we have the methodology, and actually we've got the ear and the focus of the industry. But what do you need out there? What can we help you with? Absolutely, Jeff. We want to make sure that we continue to go push the envelope even further. So how do you want to see the show progress? Um, you know, you and I ultimately have a list of ideas that we want to implement, but we really want to get some feedback from, you know, who's watching the show and what are you finding most valuable? What do you want to see more of? What would you like to see less of? Um, you know, what is it that you want to see covered? And uh, do, do you like the interviews? Do you like the change makers idea? This will be the second change makers that we've done. The last one got a, a very good response. And there's, it, change makers make sense because there's a lot of change happening and it's going to happen whether we want it to or not. And, um, you know, it, it's interesting. Um, you know, you had mentioned earlier, Jeff Gaffney group purchasing five locations out West. Those five locations mm-hmm. were from SCI. Uh, mm-hmm. does that mean SCI is spinning off some of those locations so they can go make another acquisition? Um, you know, that raises some questions. So lots of change happening. Jeff, you get to see a lot from the, owner side of the business and you see a lot mm-hmm. of the change and just generational things that are happening and and companies selling and and uh you know not having secession plans versus having secession plans and the change that happens there so you know a lot that's going to happen in 2018 but we really want to get some direction from from those watching of where you want to see it go right i mean we're i believe the only place certainly that's bringing this sort of content but we have interviews with presidents we have folks that aren't really liked by the funeral industry as well, sort of adversarial. But that's one part of only one part of what we do. What can we do to make your job better and help our profession? We want to hear back from you, and we'll make those changes. Agree? Agree. There you go. That's simple. All right. So um, I'm going to sign off here. Uh, we've yep. got a lot going on out here in Arizona today, as you can see. Right? I got this from uh, my friend, Mr. Vic March. Right? A nice Cuban cigar. So... Uh, I'm not going to light it in here because Dan gets a little bat's not about it, but it's it's on the way. <laughs> Good deal. All right, Jeff. Well, I'm excited about next week. Uh, we're going to have homesteaders Will Bischoff and Justin Baxley. And it's going to be a change makers episode and it's going to be exciting. It's going to be good. So be watching for the survey. It'll be coming out in the next week uh, through a lot of different outlets. So you'll probably see it multiple times. We promise that this survey will not take you more than three minutes to fill out. Um, it'll be very push simple. the button. Push the button. Click submit. I don't know. It's going to be great, and we'll probably do some sort of giveaway uh, for everybody that fills out the survey. We'll draw a name, and Jeff, you and I will come up with some special prize that we give somebody. I tell you what, I'm going to throw something out right now. Um, the person that gives us the we're going to ask questions, but we're going to have a space where you can make suggestions. The person that gives us the most interesting suggestion, we'll have them on the show. There we go. There we go. All right. There's a chance to be famous. Can we make somebody famous on the show? We can make them infamous quickly. I'm not sure about famous. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Appreciate it, brother. Until next time. Have a great effing week. Out here, y'all.